while having cleared the tree most of the way off the trail. I'm just stopping here briefly to catch this great landscape. There's a whole bunch of uh, trees down here. I guess a clear cutting operation of some kind, logging, but it makes for some fantastic vistas and, and long distance uh, views. So pretty cool spot. This is a snowmobile route, which we've been on a few of them this trip, but today it seems especially appropriate with the weather. And uh, I love this valley here. It's just beautiful. I've been in two wheel drive most of the time, but I've switched back to four uh, wheel drive so as not to tear up the track. We're debating here how long we can afford to spend time on these trails before cutting loose on main roads to get back. We'll see, but for now we're having so much fun on these side roads we're going to stick around as long as we can. Took a side trail off one of the forestry roads here and it's a huge, I don't know, crater or sinkhole or something. I'd love to think it was from an asteroid or something, but who knows. Also, we stopped and kind of drove through Birch Grove Campground. It's a Department of Agriculture campground and it was lovely. As the name implies, there's tons of birch there. And I would definitely recommend staying there based on appearances. It looked great. Ran into a park ranger there as well, which was nice. And talked to him for a bit. So pretty cool spot here. He's taking a little leg break. Stretch the legs and check over the cars. All right, here I go. I'll be right over. Ready? I dent it. You saw what happened? I think I heard what happened. I think it's okay, but Whew. no dent. That's good. Uh, Where'd it hit? Right through here. Oh, I see now. That was lucky. Yeah. Lucky didn't hit that. Yeah, that would have been bad. And a very dirty ride home. I guess I'd hang a blanket or something. Yeah. 
garbage bag. Yeah. Uh, somehow I got to back up. Let's see. Is this released? I, I got to back up a little bit. Hmm. Mental note to self for future. What? Don't pull longer than the straps. And bring a fucking, <coughs> for me, bring a fucking chainsaw. Oh, I have an axe. Oh. But I'm trying not to have to use it. Now how do I back? Maybe I can break this. Ah, smart. There we go. Two more. Hey, it's supposed to be ahead. I'm just blocking off like this. Two more closed roads to report. Two more closed roads to report. Uh, this is near the intersection of Wisco on the eastern part of the Trans Wisconsin Adventure Trail. We're still north of Clam Lake, but it is closed. It looks like it's been closed for some time. Uh, the other, other road was also north of Wisco, also closed. So I would avoid this general area around Wisco Road, W-I-S-C-O. Well, we've come across a couple of more challenges. So Old Grade Road and Wisco is an intersection. The part of Wisco north of Old Grade is closed. The part of uh, Wisco south of Old Grade is also closed. We've verified that these are closed due to bridge outages, not just of tree branch, although we did move a tree branch out of the way. So what we're gonna do is kind of freestyle a little bit and take, I think it's one, well, I'm not sure which highway it is, but we're gonna head towards a couple of lakes and then circle around back to Clam Lake uh, another way. So not quite the trail, but I'm sure just the scenic or almost the scenic, so. And once we hit Clam Lake, we're pretty much just gonna hit the most direct route home because everything will be a repeat after that. We've already done it going north, so we won't do it again going south. As enjoyable as it is, we're gonna get back uh, to Chicago land. On the way back into Civilization, our wheels were so full of mud and gravel that we decided to try to find a pressure washer place. We failed, so now we are dunking our cars into a river. 